It's backhoe time. Got some projects lined up. Hey guys, welcome back to the OND Life. Today, or this weekend, had a few uh, backhoe projects that I wanted to do, so we're hooking up the backhoe. You know, um, w one of the things that I noticed taking off that three point hitch with the telescoping. Uh, stabilizer arms those things are much heavier I really noticed a difference in uh, taking off that three-point hitch uh, made it a little bit more cumbersome granted that was the first time that I did it so it uh, you know there was a learning curve just having to handle uh, with those and taking the pin out so they move things like that so here you can see I'm putting the backhoe on had to raise it up hook up the hydraulics and then uh, raise it up back the tractor up onto it a little bit and then uh, trying to get it to set into place and get the holes to line up to put the pins I was off just a little bit um, ended up having to kind of fiddle with it a little um, I was just angled off a little so that uh, left side was not dropping all the way down into the mount ended up I think I gave it a you know a good push at one point finally got it and then uh, had to line up the holes I've got a video on lining up the holes for putting the backhoe pins back in I did not even use my own technique this time just kind of just started to mess with the joysticks um, I'll put a link in the description for that other video or maybe a, a card that runs across the top for that video I um, you know it takes a little practice you gotta just kinda fiddle with the joysticks and the stabilizer arms to get things lined up and uh, um, I've got another video there that uh, and I'll put another card in that goes over finding the sweet spot and kind of use that as I'm putting the pins in also so all right so the first project today was digging out my fire pit it had filled up pretty good you know with ash and rain runoff running it in so I needed to dig it on out it was almost level with the ground again built up that much so I want to be able to put stuff down in it and not worry about it blowing out as much. So that's the plan there, kind of get that dug out. Now I've sped this up four times. Um, first, my camera ended up getting too hot um, when I went to change to the other side of the fire pit to dig it out from that side. So I only get to see half of it. Um, took me a little while just to get back used to running the backhoe. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Those skills. One of the challenges is where you put your tailings. Uh, and, and what I found is I kind of push them, push them on out. Got some other videos where I'm using the backhoe. And uh, you can kind of see where I push it, the pile, away from me as I'm emptying the bucket. And that seems to do the trick. The um, other project, and I actually didn't get video footage of my other project, uh, just digging a couple holes for a couple of fruit trees that we have in pots. And um, so tr thinking about transplanting them. It might be too late, actually. I might need to wait till the fall. It, it's already in the 90s. We're not getting much rain. So might hold off on, on doing those... Um, transplanting those fruit trees and then we had a, a stubborn uh, little stump over by our screened in porch in our walkway and um, the previous owners you know they just kind of put the the walking stones around the stump uh, you know kind of um, cut off the corners of the stepping stones and uh, we decided since I had the backhoe on, here's another project that will get done. And uh, that'll be some footage 
and my daughter got my daughter on the backhoe for a little bit of it so enjoy doing great baby okay I need to give you some Okay. This was her very first time ever running the backhoe, so pretty proud of her. She, we kept it pretty low RPM, so it wasn't moving too much, too fast for her. I think she did a great job. Lift it up a little. Put it back down? Nope. You, sometimes you gotta work them a little. O and D life claw game. Try it again. All right, it might still be a tad. All right, we finally got it. I had to coach her through and put the phone down, stop recording. Um, got it finally. It was a pretty good sized stump underneath the ground there. Uh, dug out a bigger hole than I thought I was going to need to. But we got it. So ready to um, hose off the backhoe and uh, grease her up and store her again. Hey guys, so all finished up using the backhoe. I went ahead and um, hosed it off, got the mud off, re-greased everything, except for this fitting here. And uh, with the lock and lube, it's just so hard to get in there with these hydraulic lines. So what I wanted to show you is uh, this little 90 degree grease coupler it up here there you go it just slips on you can just clip it on with the lock and loop so that's what's what I like you know just put it on like so and press it down on there give it a few pumps Maybe one to grow on. And then it can be a little bit tough to get off, but it comes. So anyways, just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. You know what? I'll put a link in the description to my Amazon store where uh, you can get one of those little 90 degree couplers along with a lock and loop. You know, great little uh, um, thing to take the pain out of greasing everything before the lock and loop i dreaded greasing my tractor so thanks for watching i truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the youtube community that i have learned so much from such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor-related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it, or the attachments, 
or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had, and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links they're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty, living the O&D life. O&D out.